Nosy Bird, welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Today, we are continuing on with lots of stuff. Of course, last episode, we got very, very close to completing just about every side quest in the game. Now, there are a couple left over, like the Weapon Connoisseur, which we can sort of poke around with. We also have the Rush Room Rush, the Royal Guard's Gear, and our Royal Recipe. These two, we can't do because of the fact that, um, we need to be in Hyrule Castle, which we will do, just not now. So the Weapon Connoisseur will do. To do that though, I do need to find somebody who's gonna have a fire rod. Now I'm pretty sure there is going to be somebody. There's a couple of different places. First off, um, actually the entrance to Elden, there should be some guys right there. So we're gonna try that one first. Get in the fire rod, he's probably gonna ask for like two or three more weapons anyways, so you know, just one piece at a time. Then we need to find rush rooms, so wherever we can pick those up, I know by where the quest starts, there's a couple that are sort of hanging out. So I don't know if we should set rush rooms on our finders and see if there's anybody who sells rush rooms. I know we found one shop that did in Quark Forest, but the problem is we bought them out and I don't know when they restore. I don't know how fast games restock like that. I don't know if I could have had just like, or this game restocks like that. I don't know if Link can just sleep there and then come back and boom, there's more, probably. So I should probably go do that. But in the meantime, let's try to figure this out. So there are some mushrooms to start over this way, so might as well just get started with those. But yeah, some great progress being made recently. If we do get that stuff done with relative ease, my main goal after that will be to focus on, uh, what's it called? will be a focus on the shrines, because we do have quite a few shrines left over that we just haven't touched, so I want to be able to take those whenever I can. Okay, we got this one. Keep climbing, keep going. We should be able to get to the top here. Yeah, we can. There are some rush rooms, not a ton of course, but two more closer will be good, because I need, you know what, I need 50, 55, something like that. So getting as many as I can would be great, but I'm pretty sure there should be a fire dude somewhere around here. He might give us the meteor rod, which would be a shame. Well, we have to try and find out. And then there's another area. Like, I mean, I know there's an area with a meteor rod, like right down the other way. I mean, whoa, okay, he has a friend. Get rid of him first. Oh, okay, wait, I thought this was the other guy, not the friend. Oh boy, you guys are not being pleasant at the moment. Is it nighttime? I guess it's nighttime. Oh, got him. Okay, good, good, good. Move this way. Get you. Thank you, sir. Come on, can I grab your stuff? That's nice. Oh wait, have I not gotten, oh, I haven't gotten photos of you. Hold on. <laughs> Say cheese. All right, I got you. You're the Stalazolfos. Pretty cool. Okay, get him. Beat this thing up. Very nice. Oh boy, come on, get him. Ow, that hurt. That really, really hurt. I need food. What food can I get? I can get this food. Very nice. Don't think I'll need too much more than that. Oh, can you get out of here? You know, dude, I'm sick of you already. There we go. I <laughs> think this dude's just a walking body with no head. And same thing with you. There we go. So what about some of the stuff they've all dropped? Do I need any photos of these? Chances are low. Oh, strength and lies Okay, never mind. I can, I can take a picture of this one. Still so much more stuff to picture. Okay. Um. Hmm. Don't see any other weapons really around. Oh, here we go. Enhanced Lysel spear. So I guess some of this stuff is enhanced. Worth checking out and seeing if it's worth anything. Lizalfo's arm. That's one we don't see too often. So yeah. Makes sense if I didn't take a picture of the Lizalfo's itself. Lysel Forked Boomerang isn't anything special. Okay, making our way up farther on this hill. I do see another guy. What is this, an arrow? Yep, an arrow. Oh, this is probably a Korok Seed. Nope, it's an Amber. I know there's a dude up here, right? Or maybe it's not. Maybe I'm just going crazy with all of this. We'll have to keep going. Are you a silver one? You're a silver one, ow. And you're a very painful one, ow. Come on, am I seriously gonna fall all the way down? All the way down to the bottom. I'm starting to think that there's no dude up there. I swear that there was one up here. I don't know, I might go around the other way, play it a little bit more sneaky, because I just lost a dumb amount of health there. Like a really dumb amount of health. Oh, I don't have Rafali scale, I'm like, why isn't it not working? Because I don't have any of it. So the next easiest way to get up there then would be to go this way. Can't believe I have to do this. I should be able to handle these guys, no problem. I'm just not playing so well so far today. We'll just try climbing up this way and see what we can get done. If we run out of stamina, I'll eat some food. Oh, can we get some? There we go, there we go. Oh, that's good. That should help. And I might need a little bit more. So I need more stamina anyway, so if we have any food, that'll restore my stamina. Not by much, to be honest with you. Need to work on more stuff like that. There we go, and we should be able to run. No, no wait. To some extent, just up this way. Keep going, there we go. 
So I don't know if it was actually worth eating that food. It seemed like we ended up going just fine, but it could have not been true. So I don't need to look at you at all, Mr. Slime. I'm leaving you where you are. And then we're getting up this way, just like that, perfect. And our, is like, is my assessment? No, it's a cold guy. Why is he cold? It's the hot area. That makes no sense. All right, well then the only other area I remember, there was another area, but I'm forgetting it. Oh no, no, I remember, I remember. Uh, by this right here, there should be a fire guy down one of these little angles. Like there's like a downhill section with a bunch of enemies. At the end, there's one of the fire guys. I know for sure, certain it's a fire guy. The problem is I don't know if it's gonna be a fire rod or a meteor rod. So you can tell how difficult this can be to find the thing you want when you're specifically looking for it. What if you sort of you stumble across a crate, you know? But beyond that, it gets to be a major pain in the booty. <sighs> I hope he doesn't ask for a nice rod after this. Hopefully he asks for something a little bit more easy to get because it's just these enemies aren't very common, you know? So that's what makes it really difficult. So we're at the lake tower. If we take a look around down this way, there's definitely gonna be like a fire guy. Don't know their name. Yeah, right here. Just please let it be a fire rod and not a meteor rod. Doesn't look like a meteor rod. Okay, that was good. Keep hitting him. One more. Perfect. Okay, so let's quickly take a photo of the fire rod. Thank you. And then I'm just gonna grab it. Hold on, I gotta drop something. Ooh, I hope I have some room to drop something. What can I drop? Probably the weapon I have right now. So, you know what, if I can beat up some opponents first. Ow, I said beat up, not get beat up by opponents. Got that. I definitely have a photo of the spiked book about it. You didn't drop any arrows, dude. You know what, can you have this? Thank you. I'm gone, see ya. Don't wanna deal with you. So where's the kid at? He's gonna be out in, of course, Hatino Village, so. Get on over that way, this guy's giving me a funny look, I don't like it. <laughs> We're gonna leave. Wonder if we can take photos of the Divine Beasts, I wonder if that counts. I don't think I have, so I should probably give it a shot. But uh, not now, a little bit later from now would be better. It's actually way earlier than I thought, so he's actually not quite up yet, but I do not have a photo of the farming house, so I'll grab a photo of that. Maybe we could run across the town and just take photos of stuff in the meantime. Yeah, that might be a good idea. There might not be too much to take photos of. Oh, the Gengar's really laggy when you try to do that. But hey, we'll try it. Actually, if I could knock this down, getting some apples might be good. I'm actually starting to get low on apples, so it would be a decent little idea. You don't have to take photos of the townspeople, right? Thank goodness, that would be awful. That would, I would have so much more work to do. Horse, hi, goodbye. Now I don't feel as much of a need to talk to every single person though. Now that I know that like I've done like all the side quests, or at least most of them. There are some shrine quests, of course we need to tackle and that's what we want to be worried about next. But in the meantime, you know, just sort of enjoy myself. But I'm glad we got the fire rod. Here's another one. I would like to use something that doesn't have as much health to it or much damage to it, but I really don't have too many other options. I guess I could have dropped the meteor rod. That was sort of silly of me, but hey, it's fine. It was, you know, those, Knight Swords with the 36 damage. That's really, really common, so I should be fine. That's what most of the silver enemies drop, and we run into quite a few of those at this rate. I'm just using the Master Sword right now to cause a ruckus. Seems to work just fine. Okay, Oh, you know what? Have we taken a photo of these kind of chickens? We have, they're just normal cuckoos. What about, I don't know what it's trying to pick up here. Maybe there's something behind this? Maybe it's just a cuckoo I was trying to grab. We have these different farm animals. I might want to go up to the ones up top. Here's a little egg. I'll grab it. <laughs> but um, yeah, up this way, there's another cuckoo. Oh, this looks odd. What is going on with these guys? Why are there scarecrows here but no crops? Okay, so the kid's up. Hold on, let's go ahead and check that out. Where is he? He's, he's moving quick. He wants to get out of here. I got some hot-footed frogs. I'm hot-footed too, you better watch out. Probably need to change my gear in a moment. But uh, yeah, he's just running around, he's having a good time. It's nine in the morning now, so I guess it's time to play. Here you are, here you are, there you go. Hey, hmm? Oh, isn't that the fire rod? You remembered our promise, thanks, let me see, go ahead. So you get to take a look at the fire rod. Hope you enjoy it. Pretty cool, right? Not as good as the meteor rod, but wow, so awesome, so cool. Krabs will flip when he hears you, I saw this. Thanks, here's a token of my thanks. Oh cool, 20 rupees. No worries, my grandma's told me to give it to the person that teaches you how to fight. Close enough. The next one, what should I, hmm. 
Um, got it. Have you heard of the Moblin Club? Even seen it, I, I've seen it in books, but never in real life before. If you find it, please let me see it. Now I don't have the Moblin Club, but I have the Dragon Bone Moblin Club. I don't think that'll count though. Hey, yeah, he just needs the normal Moblin Club, which honestly might be difficult to find because it's like lower level enemies only carry it. So we're trying to find that though. I mean, I might even have a photo of it, so I should probably do that. Uh, if we take a look and do the Sheikah sensor and then change target and go to equipment, yeah. Let's see, I might have the Moblin Club. Oh, we have so many more weapons to find for our photos, it's crazy. Um, What about that spiked Boko Bat? Mob Moblin Club, here we go. Uh, Common locations, Gerudo Highlands, Faron Grasslands. So there is that going on, and we have this seeking its stuff. So, Gerudo Highlands, Faron. Something, grasslands, yeah, so over this way. Yeah, I thought so. So we'll go ahead and get started with that. We might be able to find a good couple things. Or at least you know this, and that would be good. So just defeat any kind of moblin we see. If we see a moblin, just go right for it. Chances are if it's a red one, or one of the lower level ones, maybe blue, it should have it. Or something similar, so just a matter of time, right? So yeah, let's get to it and hope everything turns out well. This started me a little bit farther off. I don't know why, but I thought I was more in this area. But I mean, even like, I know there are some moblins this way, so we might wanna start looking that way soon enough. But apparently this is a common location for it, so I'll trust the game. And then we're also still looking for rush rooms. Oh, there's one, there's one. Let's try to find these wherever we can. Oh yeah, there's a good couple too. There's like three of them. Ooh. Oh, come on, oh, come on, what was that? Grab onto the ledge, Link. Okay, I'm not gonna spend too much time on this. I'm gonna grab these, and we're gonna go and keep moving. But yeah, unfortunately, it's just gonna be a bit of a grindy situation, and that's all I could get, because Link's a dingus. Oh, get this one. Please get this one, dude. Get this one, just do me that one favor. It's just a rush room. It's just a rush room. Get up there, right now. I'm, I'm done with this, I am done. Ready, got it, go. Yeah, good job. <laughs> I know it's mostly because I'm playing awful, but geez. Also, if we could look out for more, uh, Lionels, that would be a good idea as well. I mean, I'm a little low on food. I might have to make a bunch more. That's why I'm trying to collect everything as I go along. Have I gotten photos of you? I hope so. Cold Darner, I have, cool. It's hard to tell even what they are until you get really close and see whether or not you've gotten a photo. Yeah, this is like, this is the Faron Grasslands, but I doubt we're gonna find it here. I thought this was closer to the like the original starting tutorial area. I don't think there's any moblins directly in that area, but as soon as you start leaving, like that area directly outside of it, there are definitely some larger, you know, or just normal large moblins there. Hmm. Well, in the meantime, we'll keep looking. If the game says it's here, I will, you know, believe it at least for a short time. Definitely no enemies this way. I mean, I could just start searching for moblins instead of searching for the club, but I mean, I guess if I'm searching for the club, that probably makes it easier, because then I know exactly where it could be. If it gets a reading on it, I'll just start going for it, you know? Oh, it's starting to rain. Gonna make it more difficult. Have I gotten a photo of you? You bet I have. Can't pick you up, though, because I stink. I pressed A to take, but didn't work. Oh, boy. Am I gonna have to get this on? I think so. Don't want to get hit by lightning. Well, lightning is hitting something. Hmm. So, of course, we've taken out a lot of enemies over here. I don't think there's been a blood moon since we were over this way but I might as well glide on through and see if it goes off at all. Not quite yet. There is a little camp over this way that we definitely didn't touch though. This is more of the grassland part of the grassland, the part over there was sort of, I mean it was grassland, but it was more like desert-y, I guess. You guys are blue herons, right? Blue winged herons, what do you know? Oh, apparently we've already gotten this one. Okay, I mean he's hanging out here. I don't remember doing that. Must have been a long time ago. Well, I'm gonna get some free apples out of it. <laughs> it's a pretty simple one, so that's probably why I forgot it. Yeah, we were here just an episode or two ago to get the giant horse. I just know we didn't do this, so they should be out and about. I don't know if there's anything we're really looking for. We've taken these guys on before, though. I do remember this area. Is there a Moblin Club? They're dancing, they're having a good time. That's about it. Hmm. I sort of want to go in to steal their arrows. 
But I have to deal with the silver uh, Lazalfos for it. You know what? I need some new stuff anyways. Let's go for it. Rivali, help me out here, buddy. We're taking you on. Come on, get over this way. I'm gonna immediately take care of this dude. If I could take him out from this angle so his arrows don't fall off the side, I think that would be perfect. Just like that. Go, 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 go. Still nobody has detected me. He didn't drop any arrows at all? That's sort of bogus. What do we got in this thing? Just take the reward right away. Fisherman shield, I don't need it. That is like not a good reward. Got him. Oh, I was hoping to get him again there. You saw nothing. You saw everything. Okay, real quick, real quick, let's get our other gear on. Since we do have this pretty close to maxed out, might as well, right? Yeah, we just need uh, some other stuff. Okay, dude. Since I don't need this fire rod whatsoever, I'm just gonna keep hitting it at you. Just like keep throwing more and more fire. It's basically just like a, a fancy torch. Whoa, 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 okay, why is the blue one giving me a problem? Didn't even see him. Jeez, come on now. That was just silly. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Ready? You're going down, buddy. Sorry, that had to happen. You didn't even have a weapon. You just like punched me. Yeah, where did you, you didn't know where I went? I'm right here. Come on, we're gonna get this back out. Hit him with the fire. How did, you know what? Take everything this thing has to throw at you. Yeah. Oh, that didn't work. Come on, to set you on fire, that's all I want. Hit you with the Master Sword. That's pretty good. I gotta be careful if he hits me. Okay, hold on. Yeah, where are you jumping to? Where are you jumping to, huh? Nowhere, nowhere I'm aware of. Come on. Oh, come on. Get him out of here. There we go, that was good, that was good. Oh gosh, just gotta keep dodging. Oh, I can't believe that hit me. I, I don't wanna believe it. Ow, Ooh, that could've been bad. Keep swinging, keep swinging. He's down right now and I'm just doing a really bad job. He is like blocking like crazy though. He knows what he's doing. He's got some good combat skills. Okay, Master Sword is running low on energy. I'm gonna back it up a little bit. And then we're just gonna start swinging at you. Okay, Master Sword's out of energy. Move over to the next best thing. Come on, ooh, the boomerang's down, but that's okay. Nice, okay, that was actually not bad at all. We got a Royal Broadsword. How much damage on this bad boy? 51, I'll take that, that's very nice. What about this? Probably have gone a photo, yep. Well, not what I was looking for, but we made some progress. Let's get rid of you. And you, my royal bow is badly damaged. It's a 38, so it's common, at least common enough. We don't have a photo of this? We don't, Spike Boko Spear. Give me that. There's another one. There's so many different like Boko variety of weapons, it's sort of daunting. That should be another one. Yep. All right, so I'm gonna do this my way because we're not finding too much over here. I think we should go back to the very, very early starting area, the forest of time, like go down this way because I know there's a mob one or two that hang out around there and they should have a Moblin Club because of that. So we're going that way, we're gonna find some Moblins and everything will go well. Okay, so I know for a fact, usually when we're around this area, there's some Moblins, Moblins in the woods. So I'm just gonna wait for that blinker to go off. I would sure hope it does, but you never know. Ooh. Oh, Moblin Club nearby, what did I say? What did I say? Oh, this way, hold on. Oh, oh, right here, in front of me, in front of me, in front of me. Hey, buddy, hiya, and defeat it. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, so now the problem is that I need to drop a weapon for that. I don't have anything, oh, yeah, okay. What am I gonna drop for this? I mean, I guess this, because I get these so often. Yeah, that should be fine. I should get another one before I need another one, right? So there we go, we got one for the boy. Let's head all the way back again. It's getting a little late, so we gotta do this quick before he goes back to bed. Spend an entire day getting this one. This one was a lot easier than the fire rod which was easier than the Traveler Sword. It's getting easier and easier with each step. Might be just three of them, that'd be perfect. We'll have to wait and see though. Okay, so here he is. Oh gosh, I think they're actually running in right now. Come on, quickly, there you go, hey! Hmm? Oh, isn't that the Moblin Club? Nice, nice, let me see, let me see, go ahead. All right, so there's the Moblin Club. Do you like it? Does it look cool? Whoa, look strong. Thanks, here's a token of my thanks. Okay, wow, 50 rupees, no worries. My grandma's someone to give it to the person that teaches you how to fight, close enough. All right, the next weapon to see is, what was it? Um. Oh yes, that one, that one. <laughs> Have you heard of the duplex bow? So, my when my grandpa was young, he looked for it but couldn't find it, so please, if you find it, please let me see it. Oh, the duplex bow? 
Yeesh. So the duplex bow is the one that the the, the Sheikah, not the Sheikah, you know, the, the, the little clan people that attack us every once in a while drop. That one's gonna be a bit more of a pain, to be honest with you. But I do have an idea. First off, we need to make it sort of a two-in-one pit stop over at the uh, Korok Forest. The first one is gonna be see if they, they have any rush rooms. The second one is to talk to Hestu to see if we can get an extra slot for our bows. I think that if we have like 20-something Korok seeds, we should have enough to get an extra slot. All right, so let's check out what Hestu can offer me. Hopefully something. I would really hope we have 29, so if we can increase our bow stash. Three Koroks, that's it? Really? All right, that's nothing. Let's skip this. We're definitely gonna increase that even more then. I mean, I think I've been trying to save up for a weapon one. I don't know how much another weapon one is. I just wanted one more bow one, and that seems to work out just fine. Um, There's the bow stash. What about the weapon stash? 35, I don't have that much. Hold on, hold on, he's gonna be like, wait. Ah, oh, you don't have enough Korok seeds, you should learn how to count good. <laughs> um, I don't know, I could take, ooh, it's hard to say. I mean, I think I have enough weapon slots. I think I'm being a little picky here. Sometimes you just gotta pick and choose, you know? So we're just gonna work on getting another bow slot. I think that'd be good, because we're running in a lot of good bows. I'm sort of starting to let up. Uh, five Korok seeds still really isn't much, so we'll do that, and then maybe I'll do one more shield slot because I have passed up on a couple good royal shields that I feel like I shouldn't have. So if I could just do two more in those, that'd be great. Or maybe just one more, depending on how much it costs. But uh, doing that will be nice. Da -na 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 -na. Thank you, Hastu. And then uh, we're gonna do the shield stash. Okay, two, two Korok seeds is nothing. So you can have that. So there's that done. So I don't know if we've ever upgraded the shield slots then. If it only takes two, maybe we've done like one of them. Cause look at all these different shields we have. All right, so there's that done. Now, we're gonna do one last one. Um, we're gonna do the shield stash just like this. Three Korok seeds, not a problem. That'll bring us down to 16. So if we did want to continue trying to get to 35, we're a little less than halfway there. You know, we're, we're halfway to 32, so almost there. I'll just keep working on that. But there we go, a couple more slots in a couple of different ways. That's gonna be nice. Now let's also run over to the store and see if they have any more. Now that it's been a couple days in game, um, see if they have any more rush rooms. Cause if so, I definitely wanna grab those. Cause in total right now, how many do I have? Go to my materials, I have 35. Really, not that many. Um, and the adventure log says I need 55. So I'd still need another 20. So if these guys even offer one or two of them, that's still like a big jump in the right direction. And they don't. Thanks, not good. Do I have a picture of the ladle? You better bet I have a picture of a ladle. Ay, 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 so my next best bet is to go, hmm, all the way out this way, not this one. Let me just try to get some more rush rooms from this little spot over here, from this, uh, because there's a little rock that has like three or four of them. We'll grab those, we'll start doing some shrines because I feel like we need to pick up the pace a little bit in today's episode. Like I would love to find another duplex bow, but that's totally by chance. I just need to wait for somebody to show up that'll beat me up, that'll drop the bow. So the really the only best way to do that is just to keep playing the game. So going on some shrines after this will probably be our best, but we have like sort of like a backup of like 10 shrines at this point that are just sort of laying around or that I still need to discover even that I have pinpointed on the map. So lots of stuff to do there. Not really too worried about it. We got the Kano shrine here that I'm just gonna use to glide down to wherever we need to be. It should be just this way. Yep, Aru. Oh, here we go. So there's a couple and we should just probably show up here every once in a while. Um. Let me climb down so I can grab that. And climb down here so I can grab this. And there's probably also a Korok seed just chilling out at the top of this, right? Yeah, definitely. I don't know how I didn't find that one already. That one's really obvious. It's like right in front of my face several times. So there's 17. Drop it on your face. No, oh, we missed one. Hold on, hold on. I'm not gonna let that one get away. And then there's another rush room on the floor over there, I think. So this definitely sent me ahead a couple. That's nice. Is this a rush room? No, that's Flint. Okay, never mind. Well, how many do I have now? Um, 39. So I am looking for 16 more rush rooms. But if we just keep working and put our mind to it, I'm sure we'll find it. But now that we've done that, hello. In the desert though? What's up? Uh, how do you bring such strength, such endurance out of that raunty body? Wow. 
Very few have ever seen the Leviathan bones, but keep an eye out in the desert and you might get lucky. I found them, don't you worry. Found all three of them. All right, so yeah, let's get to doing some shrines. We have, I don't think that pin is for a shrine, but we do have this shrine right here. This is the Kemikosasa shrine. This is one of the ones in Hebrus which can get real cold real fast. We'll have to be careful. Kemikosasa, there's like one or two others in the Heber regions. We got three or four more down on the bottom right. Definitely like almost 10 of them, if not 10 shrines in total we could work with. I don't know if we're gonna get 10 shrines down in today's episode, but I'll sure as I try. That'll turn out pretty well. Okay, Kemikosasa, Kosasa. And we're just gonna run in real fast. Whoop, so I don't get affected by the cold. I don't think the temperatures follow in to the shrines. Oh, we still have to befriend a dog. I mean, apparently we get a treasure chest for everything that we do there. Like like every uh, horse stable that a dog is at, we can get a treasure chest from a dog. That sounds like a lot of work. A major test of strength. Cool, let me save the game before that turns out badly. Cause I don't have too much food right now. But hey, let's give it a shot. You know, this might give me some good weapons. If not anything else, you know, it was some good practice. I don't need this Moblin Club, so I'm immediately gonna toss it at him. All right, let's see what you got, buddy. Let's see what you got. Oh, he does have a shield. Okay, whoa, ah, I missed. All right, well, not a good start, but that's okay, because I have other weapons I can use, like this, and then I'm just going to, ow, 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 not what I wanted. Oh, I can take photos of that stuff afterwards, I gotta remember that. Um, No, 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 select the weapon, fine then. Use this one, there we go, it broke already. Can I freeze you? I can definitely fire you up, but then can I freeze you? I can, oh, I, I didn't want to unfreeze you after I froze you, that's not very productive. Okay, so let's hit him with a double 78, or at least a single 78, apparently. No, boy. What? That's not what I want. I wanted to jump backwards. That is silly. Uh, okay, food. Where is my food? Let me, I got a bunch of fish. Let me just eat fish. There we go. So I have another stasis room. Uh, stasis, yeah, I guess rune. Proper word for it. Oh, that broke my bow. Jeez, things are not going well. Wow. Wow, that was close. Okay. Yeah, I'm not really beating this guy up very well. Ooh. And I can't use like Urbosa's Rage or anything like that. It's even a surprise I can use the runes and a thing like this. I mean, I wanted to change my weapon to the 38 damage. I really don't want to use that 50. I don't have to. Okay, go for it. And then I'm gonna charge up with this one. There we go, that wasn't so bad, right? I mean, he still has a lot of health here. I'm not really doing so well, to be honest with you. Okay, that was not, oh, what I wanted. Not at all. <laughs> I'm playing so bad today, I'm so sorry. You know what, I'm picking this back up and I'm going to back up like this, grab it and toss it at you. There we go, not so bad, right? And then I'm definitely gonna go for, I have two of these 30 damage ones. That's gonna hurt. 30 damage, like look at this jabbing. Like that's a, I mean, I guess it isn't too fast because these are pretty heavy. But still, I think the point still stands. Oh, back it up. Come on, I was trying to make you jump. Because if we could activate one of those flurries again, luckily he doesn't do too much damage. All right, 51 damage for that Royal Broadsword is tempting just to keep around. Come on, come on, come on, ready? I know you're gonna do your, you know, let's let's throw out like an electric arrow. I have 95 of these. I should be able to do that. That got you right in the noggin too. So not gonna just go for this little bit. And then before he does too much more, freeze him and then go for more. Look at all the damage that does end up stacking up. It's really nice. Got it. Are you gonna jump at me or something? You seem to just be turtling. Oh no, I know what you're doing. Ow, ow, oof, eesh. That hurts a lot. Actually, it only hurt one little bit. Wait, what is this in the floor? It's an arrow. Excellent. Uh, Got him, but not enough. Oh, no, 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 no. Hold on, hold on. I'm gonna poke you with something real quick, if you don't mind, thank you. Oh, that made you, you know, really get hurt. Hit him with the double 40s. Okay. That was a good hit, but apparently not exactly where it needed to be. That was a good one. Nice. Okay, this isn't happening, buddy. Sorry, but it can't be that way. And then I'm just gonna charge up if I can. Oh no. Hold on, hold on. There it is, nice! Okay, so we beat him, just took some extra effort. All right, so that's gonna open up that. We get a chest for it as well. That's really good. But first off, I wanna pick up all this stuff. Just like that. We have ourselves an Ancient Battle Axe Plus Plus. Gonna take a picture of that. And I'll pick that one up. My album is full. How much damage does this have? 
60 is actually really, really good. Um, our album is full, so let's quickly just go ahead and delete everything. Got it, okay, and this page as well, even this cool picture of a Lionel. Sorry, but I only have so many pictures I can take. Delete, yeah, okay. So there's that done. Let me go ahead and try to take a picture of this Guardian Spear Plus Plus. Very cool. And then finally Guardian Shield Plus Plus. It's all just in a big pile. But yeah, let's take a look at all of that then. So the Guardian Spear Plus Plus, is that any better than 30 damage? It's not, so, I mean, I can take it. It's 20 damage. Uh, and then we got the Guardian Shield Plus Plus, which uh, 42 defense ain't so bad. That's not what I wanted to do, but okay, there we go. Three new things. I didn't have a photo of either of those three, so it's nice to see. You know, I could get that done a little bit. There's an arrow on the floor over this way. Got it. Let us go this way and um, try out this chest. What's in here? A silver rupee. Very worthwhile prize. We're just a couple rupees below 8,000 and we get an orb. Beyond everything else, we get an orb. I definitely need to work on more health. I haven't felt the need for more stamina in a good long while. Like an in general need. Like there are certain moments where it's like, oh, I wish I could have a little bit more stamina, but almost always I'm like, I have plenty of stamina. So I think I'm still pushing for more health. We already have four orbs, so I can at least get one more hit point. But yeah, very cool stuff. Um, now we're moving on to a different trend for sure. Luckily those, you know, they don't really drain my brain power like some of the puzzles do. So always fun to try those out. All right, so we're at the High Amiya Shrine. I always forget that that area I was in was not the Heber Mountains. It was down this way in the Gerudo High Highlands. I get it mixed up all the time. But now we're here and we got two or three shrines to do in this area. One of them's like just down the way, but I'll probably still teleport to it instead of walking because that's always a bit more convenient. Maybe they'll all be tests of strength. I, I doubt it. I really doubt it, but you never know. A major test of strength. Maybe I shouldn't speak so soon. <laughs> All right. Oh, there's like little, what's with that? I didn't notice that before. Was that in the other one? Take a look at that real quick, hold on. Um. What's the deal with this? I mean, I guess just like protect myself if you know he starts doing some crazy stuff. Okay, dude, hold on one sec. We're gonna go ahead and just start using some of this stuff, cause why not? Ooh. Just, yeah, just go at him. Just go at him. Just keep spinning at him. Again, and again, and again, and again, and again. This is actually doing some major damage right now, too. <laughs> I, don't even, I was getting dizzy. Oh, okay, I don't wanna do any more. Ooh, man, that was good. And I'm not done with you either. Get back here. I'm gonna go like this. I'm gonna start jabbing you like crazy with this one, and if it gets too weak, I'm just gonna throw it at you. And then, come on, keep going. We almost got you down. Major test of strength. Okay, that hurt. That really hurt. Gotta be careful. Come on, dude, ready? Oh, I missed. Okay, keep going like this. I feel like his health went up. Wait, his health is definitely going up. What was that about? That was weird. Maybe his health goes up over time, I've never noticed. That might be the case. I'm a little nervous now. Mm, there we go, that time it worked. Now this one is also pretty damaged, so I probably just want to, if I can. Boom, nice. Okay, so let's go ahead and hit him with this, if I can. Also, what happened to my frost rod? Did that break too? Okay, now I'm starting to run low on weapons. I'm getting a little concerned. Ooh. Okay, freeze him because he's about to do some nasty stuff. Keep going with this. You got it. Oh man, there it is, not bad. So let's take a picture of that Guardian Sword Plus Plus if I can, because I'm pretty sure I need to. But I should also check out that set. There might be a chest in under like one of those things, so I don't know. Have I gotten a picture of this though? First off, grab that. I have not gotten a picture of the Guardian Sword Plus Plus. Not the spear, the sword. There it is. Very cool. So I'll definitely grab that if it'll let me. Okay, so we were able to get everything there. 58 damage is massive for the sword. That's pretty huge. Okay, very, very cool. And of course, grab all this stuff. Don't leave that be. So let us go ahead and do a little bit of this. Nothing on this side either. I'm gonna check out all three of these, or however many there are. It looks like there's three or four. Okay, here's number two. Like maybe one of these has like a little chest hidden in it. It doesn't look like it. I don't wanna leave it be without knowing for sure. So if I take a look at the other one, it'll tell me if I got all the chests. Yeah, it has a little chest marker next to it. So I got all the chests for that one, so chances are there isn't, but I always gotta make sure, right? 
I mean, I think the chest marker means that I got all the chests and not that there's chests left over. It's sort of inconspicuous. But I'll know if I check each one. Okay, it's looking like we're in the clear. All right, well, what does this have? Last one gave us some rupees. This one will give us a sapphire. I'll take it. Precious blue gem right there. And this bumps us up to six orbs already. So yeah, just tests of strength working out pretty well. Now we have another shrine just down the way, but like I said, I'm probably gonna teleport over to it. All right, your triumph over this test is something. That's for sure. Okay, see you, dude. Out to go. So yeah. Let's keep going. So here's to to Cuomo. This one hopefully won't be too bad, it might be, whoa. Whoa, whoa, Blood Moon already, well that was quick. I feel like it was just like beginning of last episode we had a Blood Moon. All right, well, that uh, scared me. I was like, what's happening? All right, well we don't have to worry about that too much, it's fine. Let me go ahead and just go, oh, okay, wrong way, into the shrine. We're all happening while we're just under some Leviathan bones, how creepy, right? This will be our seventh seventh orb, so if we can get two more shrines done, we already have two more heart containers guaranteed, and that's a big jump, to be honest with you. What do we got for this one? Oh, to Cuomo's Blessing. So for this one, I guess because we made it to the, uh, the remains, we don't have to do too much for it. Royal Claymore, 52 damage really is pretty low. Considering what we have, I'm gonna leave it. I do wanna take a look, though. If I can, real quick, have I ever taken a photo of this thing? Probably. Most likely, yeah, I've taken a photo of it. Not too surprised with that. Okay, so it doesn't look like there's anything in particular in the water or anything, so we're good, let's just get ourselves an easy orb. I like it, easy is good. So we'll know for a fact, I'll check this one afterwards and see if there's a chest next to the shrine's name. If there isn't, we know that if there's no chest, that means we have not gotten all of the chests in the shrine. Very good. Okay, one step at a time, right? So let's head back up to the overworld and then we'll go somewhere else. Maybe I should go to the other Leviathan Bones one so we can just cash in real quick. Um, another quick orb, that would be nice. And then we get two more heart pieces. I'd enjoy that quite a lot. I don't know if this episode is gonna be as long as some of the other ones recently because I am doing like a lot of loading screens with these shrines and sort of working on a schedule right now. So we'll have to see. But this one way over, oh, was there no, there might have not actually been a shrine related to this one. We'll have to wait and see. I might put a marker there for now. Cause that'd be weird, cause this one did. No, this one did not. No, it did. Weird. Okay, for now, what other ones are we missing? There is one right over this way. This is the Shadanao Shrine. So, still more in the Hebra area. Might as well work on it. This one was definitely the most puzzle-ish one, so I'm not surprised it was a blessing shrine. But hey, now we're 75 in. Once again, I think there are 120 sh shrines in the game, so we're 45 away from getting everything. That's pretty insane. I mean, we are past the majority of them. And still a lot more shrines to get through, but apparently if we get them all, we get some pretty exclusive stuff. So I am really, really looking forward to that one. There's one quest we haven't even started. I don't even know how to start it, but we can't even do it unless we get all the shrines completed. Or I, I guess like the act of completing the side quest is getting all the shrines done, as far as I understand. But uh, with that being said, let's check out this one. Red giveaway, Shadow Now Shrine. Okay. So the goal I see is to get the ball into that little socket. Okay, so I see the way we're supposed to solve this and the way I want to solve this. The way I want to solve this is ridiculous and probably not going to work. But I have to try. I have to try it. If this works, I'll be so pleased with myself. Like, you won't even know. I'll be so pleased. I mean, this maybe is just phase one, so it might not even work, but I'm just gonna drop this here. And then what we're gonna do. Oh, this is not easy. Oh no. Oh, that is so difficult. That is not gonna work. I'm gonna try it one more time. Just one more time, nice and simply. Just, yep, yeah, perfect. Now, if we could just drop it, and then, Oh, I can't even see. Can't even see, did it fall? Oh no, it's still on there, look at that. So all, all I need to do first is just do this. Oh man, it just like rotates on the opposite direction fully. That is so tough, but it's so doable. It's so doable. Ready, drop it here, and then move back this way. I don't know, I'll do, I'll do it, I'll try it this once, because I really, really want to do it. 
Come on. Got it. Because this, I mean, this shrine in general looks pretty tough. Okay, so this is sort of my best bet. If I wanted to toss it, let's see how good of a throwing arm Link has. Mm. <gasps> no way! No way! That is so cool! Well, wait, did that solve it or not? Oh, I get it. So that didn't quite solve it as you can see because I need to be up there. That's tricky. Even though if we're fast enough with this, I don't know if we would be, but if we are, I could probably set it up like right here. Oh yeah, definitely, right? Mm. Maybe not, maybe not, maybe not. I'm gonna go ahead and, hold on, go like that, go this way. Oh, we got it, we got it. This is gonna be it solved. Look at this. So we gotta wait right here, bring me up. <laughs> this, only, this has to be just part one, right? That is so cool. Can't believe we were able to solve it that way. All right, well, there we go. I don't know if there's anything up that way. I know there's a chest over there, but honestly, I mean, I don't know if I have to re-complete a shrine if I'm just trying to get a chest. We can always get it at some other point in time. I'm sure it's not a must-have item or something like that. Most of them aren't. I'm just glad we were able to do it, because that one, that one actually looked like it could have been a bit of a headache. So I did it my way. I don't know if they actually design it so that you can solve it that way, or if it's just me being ingenuitive. But I like I like believing the latter, because it makes me feel good. But hey, that was fun. Now we have eight orbs, we could get a two extra heart pieces, but I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna try to get a couple more done before we run off and do that. That way it's more time efficient, I suppose. So, uh, all right. Uh, let's see. There's one right down here, it's the Rock Uwag Shrine. Let's go ahead and get started with that one. Okay, so the Rock Uwag Shrine. Let's go this way and see how things go, right? I mean, this might be just like another test of strength, might be something easy, but I think, was this the one that was under the big ice? It might be. So it might just be a blessing. We're about to find out the moment of truth. Power of reach. Okay, so we do need a key to go past that way. There's a lot of like different pieces of leaf. Hmm. I'm guessing I need to do something about that. Is there any torch laying around? Doesn't look like it to me. So do we have anything flammable? I mean, I do have the meter rod. Could just use that instead. I mean, I don't know if that's worth it. I probably should just use normal arrows. The meter rod isn't really a must have item for me. I just have it because why not? Okay, well I don't wanna wait too long with it. And maybe if I just burn all this stuff. Okay, there we go, got it. Wait, that didn't work. What what happened there? I had a fire arrow. Boom, there it goes. So I've burned all of that. Oh, here we go. Didn't even see this part. That's all I needed to do, wasn't it? Can I just climb through this? Oh yeah, easy peasy. Oh, hello. How are you? Okay, can you uh hold on for a sec? Thanks. There we go, that should be enough. Is it? Yep, okay. So I do need a quick pick of that, I think. Oh, I never got a picture of you! Dang it! I'll hopefully run into another one of you soon. The Guardian Spear. I forgot that I could take a picture of him. I'm so silly. So I mean, we got past one part, but it looks like there's still more. Uh, I'm guessing I can break that. Maybe, oh, probably shouldn't use that. Should probably, you know what, just use the Master Sword. What? I missed. Can't believe I missed that. There we go. <laughs> that is doing damage. I mean, I guess I'm supposed to just burn it, so I don't know what I'm trying to do here. But if it works, it works. I'm not complaining. Hmm. So what is with all of this? Oh, here's another one. Say cheese, Guardian Scout 2. That's what they're called. Oh, oh, that's not what I wanted. But now we're down here. I want to use the Master Sword on you. Easy. It's so easy. It's great. So I got that one done. Was there anything else up here though? That's what I was sort of looking around for, I just accidentally fell down. Doesn't look like it. But now we're here. Okay. So the goal is to burn this stuff, right? I mean, I think. I think they're burning? Do they actually break or no? There must be another way in, or is that the end right there? Hard to tell. Oh, that worked, okay, cool. 
Hmm, I don't know if I did that correctly. Oh, there's just a chest over here, okay. Cause there is this right there, that I don't see how I could have done that. But at the least I can get this. And I got over 8,000 rupees, got the small key, so that's my way out. Could I leave with this and use it in another shrine? That'd actually be really funny. And then there's another chest up this way. This one's actually pretty simple, it's just don't forget to go down here. Oh, drill shaft. Um, I'm pretty sure I already have a photo of a drill shaft, but let me be extra sure. Best way to do that, I guess, would be to just like toss something down this way, which if I want to toss anything, should be my weakest weapon at the moment. There we go. And then I will just throw that down there too, take a picture of it, and that should be good. So, toss it. <laughs> Thing is really long. Drill shaft, now I do. Now I have a photo of it. And I definitely have a photo of this. Gotcha. Okay, so, gotta activate the key here, and is this done, or is this like the first half? No, it's done, cool. Alrighty, so let us get ourselves another orb. And I might be able to have time to have one more shrine. One more shrine and then I think I gotta head out. So we'll activate our orbs and that'll be great. And then I'll have two more orbs left over. So there's still plenty of work to be done with shrines for sure. But this is really just all the time I had for today, which is better than nothing, right? Like I said, like it's, it's an hour recording for me, but I know it's not for you guys because of all the cuts I have to make just not sitting around and loading screens. Okay, so we'll do this one way south. It is one shrine, I don't know what it is, we'll find out when we get in down there. But uh, I figured this one might be fun, just a little bit of change of scenery, we've been doing cold stuff all day. Let's go to a warmer climate where things might be a little bit better. Yeah, this will be our 78th shrine in total, our 10th orb currently, and it is Hot the Tilt, Shai Uto Shrine. Okay, well, this one should be pretty easy to figure out. All we gotta do is freeze it like that, and we're good. And once I'm on this side, let me unfreeze it. <laughs> Plays a little noise as if I solve something of difficulty to figure out. Okay, so for this one, I do want to freeze it when it's like that. That way I can uh, get that chest. That's what I'm really looking for. You know, I probably could have just used a magnet thing for this. What do we get? I am curious. Royal Broadsword, 36 damage for that one. So not really worth having. I've, I have plenty of them, don't need that one. I have some really, really good ones right now, even. Oh, no, 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 okay, so I, I should have undid that while I had the chance. That was just me being silly. I mean, I guess the idea is that I could have grabbed this. Don't know if I can from this. Oh, I can from this ridge, look at this. You know, I wanna put this over here. I might need that for something. Uh, See, so let's just go across for right now, and then once I don't need it anymore, obviously enough, just break it, because that way it's gonna be recharging sooner. Hmm. So yeah, for right now, I'm gonna grab this one. I did see another chest up that way. So I'm gonna do what I can with this. I don't know if this would actually work or does it just slide off, okay. Hmm. So you might notice. I mean, there's a couple of things going on here. Cause I can like do this, run up this way, and then that's gonna slide me off real quick. Oh, oh, but if I'm quick about it, it's fine. But how do I get up there? That's sort of the weird thing. I mean, I would guess the best idea would be to, I don't know if this is gonna work. I mean, there's one of two things I can try here. First, I know, I solved it. But uh, first, let's try this. I'm gonna raise this as like as high as I can. I mean, first I might have to make sure it's actually lined up. And then like get it closer to the edge. The more weight we can get on that bottom edge, the more of a torque it'll have, right? Oh, that worked! Sort of, almost, oh, almost. That was pretty cool, actually, I like it. So, uh, I really wanna get this one. I'm, I'm being challenged at the moment. Okay, I gotta freeze that still. I don't know if like jumping and slamming on things would help at all, so I might wanna try that. Come on, jump. Oh, that didn't work as well that time. That definitely did not work as well. What's the deal? Maybe I just got lucky before, and that's not actually how you're supposed to solve it. Okay. So I do wanna try this, but I gotta wait for this to restore. Uh, Come on, come on. So let's try that, and then with the weapon I don't really care too much about. Uh, Let's try this one, I'm just gonna. That does? Well, knock it down. Let's see if that does anything for me. Nothing. Like, basically nothing. Okay. 
I don't know. It's tough to say, because I would love to just, I mean, the idea is that this chest is much heavier than Link is, right? If I were just here, it just launches me, which stinks, because now I gotta get back up there again. So you would think with enough height, it'd be fine, but I don't know. Stop the time, jump, and then just keep jumping like crazy. Like, it sort of works sometimes. Yeah, like that time is weird. It really is weird. I'm gonna try one more time. I don't wanna eat up too much with this. But uh, grab that, and then get myself on the very, very edge of this. I gotta make sure it's lined up as well as I can. Just like that. No, 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 why didn't, oh, come on, Link. Buddy, what was that? Got it. And then straight up, straight up. That's the highest I can do. Whoa, much better this time. Okay, that time was just like, I guess a matter of luck or something, weird stuff. But uh, with this, as you can see, I get an ancient core. Very good. Now, can I make my way back over here, like, real easy? Oh, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, good job, whoa, <laughs> okay, I did it. We got an ancient core, those are always good to have. Let's get this orb, cash them in, hopefully, for uh, two more hearts, and that will make me a bit more survivable, which is always a preferred thing. So, 10 orbs in total, which means we're only two shrines away, and we're just, there's definitely two shrines floating around. I know of two shrines on the Twin Peaks, we definitely need to figure out that's been on the to-do list for a while. And then there's like at least two to three shrines I have yet to discover, but I have pinpointed on the map. So the to-do list, it's still going strong. But uh, for now, that's all I can handle. Okay, so give me those heart pieces. Let's cash those in. I'm glad we got to some of them this time. We're gonna do a heart container both times. Like I said, I'm pretty satisfied with my stamina. I would love to see the two uh, stamina bars completed just because that'd be satisfying, but maybe we could leave that for later. For now, I just want the full heart because that's so nice. All right, heart container, your life force has been strengthened. Yeah, and that's actually the beginning of our second row, cool. Okay, so let's get another heart container. You gotcha. All right, well, there we go. So there's that done. Lots of our work just turned into heart containers, which is, which is not to what I like. I mean, luckily you don't have to see the animation twice. I appreciate that. But there we have it, we got ourselves a little bit, not much, a little bit of progress in the side quest, but more importantly, we got a couple of shrines done. Thank you guys so much for watching today's episode of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. If you watched this part of the video, make sure you comment Zebra Strength so I know you've watched the end of the you are a Zebra Tazzing viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now or by subscribing, join the Zebra Herd. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time, bye bye.